Okay, let's take a look at assignment number five. In this assignment, we've been told that uh, the forensic audit has revealed that we have one employee, Carrie Rotten, that has been paid twice on the same date for the exact number of hours and appears to be uh, dupli have duplicate uh, payroll disbursements. What they want us to do is present a graph in which we show the individual's name, the dates on which the payments were made, and the count, that's the number of times the payments were made on that date. So we're gonna use some functions we've already done before and just kind of move things around and see how to work on Tableau a little more. Let's get into Tableau. So the first thing we're gonna start with over here is I've already uh, named my sheet and I've called it duplicate paychecks. And I am going to take the accounting employee, bring that into the column shelf. And uh, this basically has a zero one to tell me uh, which employee we'll be looking at, what type of employee. And then we bring them uh, the gross number over here. The one that is zero, that's out of concern because those are all the, uh, the attorneys. So I will exclude that. The ones that are one are the ones from the accounting department. Now I take last name and drag it in over here and I will remove the that the uh, A employee that was the uh, code that was there. Now they told us it's scary rotten. So I don't want these two employees. So Alexander is gonna get excluded and Perez is going to also be excluded. That now leaves me with rotten. This is the only individual I'm concerned with right now. Okay, now that I've taken care of this, I will take dates because I want to know when this individual was paid. I will take dates and drop it in the row shelf. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look at these dates and I want it to be uh, the custom format. And there I want month, date, year. And I click OK. Uh, and now the next I want is the hours because I want to know how many hours uh, she has worked and what's happened there. So bring the hours up over here. So leave the name because I said they want the name. We have the hours, okay? The month date and the amount, okay? Now the hours, I don't want the total hours. What I want is a count of the hours, okay? Which means how many times that payroll was, a duplicate payroll was processed. So the exact same hours on those dates. So go to measure, instead of sum, I want count. And then the last thing I wanna do over here is I wanna take this automatic and change it to circle. Now, uh, something I wanted to show you in the last uh, uh, assignment and uh, I was having a little bit of an issue trying to do some things. So let me go through with uh, and show you some over here. Uh, I have this graph, this is what I want. I, before I put it into my Word document, I'll show you a couple other things here. The icon that's over here, that's below format and server, this little icon over here, it just says that you can swap rows and columns. So the visual presentation. So this now looks a whole lot better to me in terms of being able to see the dates and visually change information. Now, even these dates, something I want to do in the last, last exercise, you click on it and you can click rotate, rotate the label. So it rotates the label, makes it visually uh, more appealing if, this were, if there were more columns, not necessary in this case. So I'll go back and say, rotate and just leave it at the way it was for this assignment. So I have the individual, I found out that this individual has been paid twice. This is the count that we did, count of hours, paid twice on Feb 20, Jan 26th, Feb 21st, June 8th. So it's not all the time. Every now and then she's trying to slip this in. Okay, so it's happened a total of six times. So let me go into the uh, snip and sketch tool and I will take all of this information from here and copy it and take it into my Word document and paste it over here. 
Obviously, this is a little tight to see that, but we can still see the information over here. And now you're good to go with the fifth assignment in terms of uh, giving your comments about Carrie Ratton, what you did in fact find, what she's doing, when this happened. And again, you need to start looking at that case again and try, try and connect the dots and see who these employees are that don't have approval, that are billing to, uh, uh, billing to the clients or their hours. These are not attorneys. These are accounting people, okay? So go ahead and write up your assignment and add, this should be cumulative. What you have in assignment five is building up a case from assignment two onwards. Assignment one, we didn't do any forensic audit, but assignment two onwards, we've been doing forensic audits and finding things about uh, inconsistencies and things that should not be happening. There are clear violations of rules and policies. So uh, this is the fifth assignment and we will talk about the rest in class next week.